Hi right, guys, welcome to freaking Jeep. I'm going to put a little better light on the subject, but not much because those lights are out and I haven't got around to it. I've been as usual goofing off today and just don't, not motivated to do nothing. It's cloudy and rainy. You see all the water here. Um, that's just the way it is. I got a call today. Um, we go, well, I've got, I got so much stuff going on today or this week or this time of the year. It seems like everything just boom gets thrown in a pile and I, I canceled out my fall Carlisle because of the Bunyan Show. Uh, the Bunyan Show is coming up. I haven't got the um, saw blade even together, but I, I was on the phone with Jeff today about it because the blade is one of Jeff's old ones that's n you can't put it on saw anymore. So um, that's what that is. Uh, what else? Oh, I got a list. Oh, crap. I had a list. I don't know what I did with the list. That, that, that's half my problem. I'm so senile now, I can't figure out what I'm doing with nothing. But next Friday, um, three things going on. The Hope event, which is one thing that I really like to go to that I just started last year, but they had it later in the fall when it was kind of like, okay, I can get to it now. Um, after the Bunyan show last year, we got the logs up front that need to be solved. The guy's ready for those, but that can be put off till probably after the Bunyan show because I'm not really into doing it myself, but it would be easier to do with the log turner. But the big thing is I got the event that I talked about from the last event coming up next weekend and setup is on Friday, the thing is on Saturday and cleanup is on Sunday, which cleanup can, that doesn't make any difference. It's Saturday afternoon, about 50 people give or take, I don't know, hope the weather's good. Um, and I can't keep up with the grass because it's grown so fast, but I can't go out and mow it today if I wait. I'm going to have to mow it two times between now and next Friday. And that's, that's a pain in the neck because that's five or six hours times two. Then the thing that I've been going to for years and years and years is the steam engine show up in Carroll County. You've seen it on the channel the last I don't know how many years. I just got off the confuser trying to look for when we started sawing or about the time and I, I'm thinking we've been sawing up there for about 10 years now because um, we sawed on the old sawmill they had up there for a couple years and the sawmill that's in there now is what we've been sawing on lately um, so setup is on Thursday saw Friday Saturday and Sunday so that gets me further behind on everything here but the sh it, it's hard to explain so I got a lot of stuff going on but I wanted to show you I'm gonna go find the list and then show you something that's some of the buttons they give away so um, today I'm gonna work on that pump a little bit in between rain showers um, so I'll be back in a minute I gotta go find the list and show you show you some badges stinking badges we don't need stinking badges here Hi guys, here's some of the badges that I've gotten over the years. When you go to a show, they give you a badge. And that's kind of why I got the um, badge that I got that I give away at the... Man, I'm echoing in something terrible in here. Anyhow, I've been going to this for years. There's a 97 one. There's a 2006. There's a 2007. I just got piles of going to shows most of these are the mason dixon or arcadia but you can see i've been going to these shows for years and that's where if, if you've got one of my badges or one of my everybody's calling them stickers i called them whatever well, you can call them whatever you want but they're basically here's one mason dixon this is 2011 and that's where i had my freaking jeep badges or what made from and i think that they're that's where I got that idea. Then a lot of you guys have gotten the buttons that I give out. These are the buttons, and I got piles of them. We have, there's more, more in the drawer. But this is a show that I've been doing for years and years and years and years. That goes to that. Um, so I don't want to, I don't want to just cut them off and say, hey, I got to go do the Hope Farm thing. And I got to kind of work this show around the, sh the thing that we're having. So. Just wanted to show you some of these badges. Some of them are pretty neat. This this is one that goes back to 89. So, and I know I probably started 
that's probably about the year I started going to this, 89, maybe a couple years earlier. No, because I know I got one somewhere in here that's 82. 82. So I've been going to this, uh, been going to shows, steam shows, but focused in on the Mason Dixon one because that's so nice and close. And that's where we saw that every year. So that's just a little, and these things are really pretty. They used to have a lot nicer ones when they had a little bit nicer show, to be honest with you. I don't know. There you go. You can kind of see it. This is brass, too. Um, now they've gone to less expensive aluminum. It's just a times. This is aluminum. This is like what mine is. I guess you can see that. This is 07. Uh, no, this is Kingsdale. That's a different one. I guess they're doing the same one, same badges. I'm doing, I get my the badges, if you're curious, from rally and I think I get the these buttons from them too but that's why I give away buttons and badges I'm just used to it at all the steam shows and I, I think they're nice and um, anyhow I found my list it was over on the bar I'll meet you back out outside in a minute well we made it back out, out here Hope you guys liked all those buttons. They're pretty neat. Leave a comment down there if you like the buttons. Anyhow, um, I found my list. It was in on the bar, and it's just going over some of the things. A lot of people, um, several people asked, why didn't I use the mag drill? Mag drill's behind me, and that would have drilled those holes. But the surface, here's some of the reasons. Um, God, I can't even read my own writing. The, um, the number one, the thing is super heavy. It weighs probably about 80 pounds. I think it was 83 pounds or something like that. I don't know. Maybe it's 70 pounds, but even 50 pounds is pretty heavy for getting it up to where it had to go. Uh, the footprint was larger than the pad. So if I if I had it on the foot, the pad, the head of it was past where I needed to drill the holes. That wouldn't work either. And then you have to go this way and this way to get the two different holes or Mine the top swivels so the magnet stays down. You can swivel it some, and I probably could have got that. But that pad was not not flat either. It fairly flat, but not flat enough for the mag drill. Uh, so many, you know, to go out and buy a new mag drill that's lighter than you can move around for drilling eight holes. I'll suffer through what I got. Uh, the center punch, I I use that center punch. You know those little round things. They're just a few thousandths of an inch difference, each, each of them. And like when I drilled out the um, hole for the, um, that head on that Jeep engine, I was, I was using those to figure out exactly what drill size to be perfectly drilled through without touching the threads in that head. And that's what I used, even though I was micing old, old uh, uh, spark plugs, it still worked pretty good to know exactly where you were drilling and what what was drilling so when I did drill out that um, spark plug on that Jeep engine I drilled it out and then started running the tap through it and as I was going on the inside it was pushing the threads out complete threads in fact I don't know if I showed them to you or not they were over here it was screwing the threads out the other side this is I don't know if you can see that. That's that spark plug. And there's only about four threads that hold those spark plugs in anyway. Um, and that's there's there's three there, but it, it it never touched the actual head. It just touched the it just pushed that out. It was a perfect I got lucky. Okay, let's put it that way. Um, drilling the holes, that that was kind of a hateful job. Wind blowing, let's see. I don't know what that is. Big drill because could, could I, I went. I didn't want to use the little drill because I just thought it was going to throw me around more than the big drill. The big drill you can have it here and have it here most time and get control of it. And I just felt more control with that big drill. That big drill's drilled a million holes. Uh, the glasses. I guess you know as I look back at, it, I took the safety glasses off because the fan in that big drill was blowing everything that was coming off that drill up at me which I guess it was still blowing it up at me if I didn't have glasses on but I could at least see it coming at me maybe and blink first I don't know um, 
probably should have used you know one of those should have used a face mask instead of instead of that I, I don't know what the rest of this stuff is dull bits I tried to sharpen the bits and couldn't get them to sharpen glasses instead of that busy week drill I don't know I'm gonna get to working on that cut some stuff and see what I got do some measurements motor to height and that kind of stuff and figure out what I'm gonna have to do to get the um, get that pump that might not work on there it's what I do spin wheels I guess oh and Mac Mac I'm not sure if it's the same deer or not but there's a deer from you eating the wife's same plants again and I saw him out in the wood pile I don't know how to tell one from the other because they don't wear name tags and don't don't give me their name so I don't know if it's the same one that I picked up and delivered half a mile and two creeks away from here or whether it's a new one so I'll leave you to decide I guess a lot of people say oh yeah it's the same one he came back from over half a mile that's a half a mile as the crow flies half a mile away little groundhog this big going that far I don't know I know that when they expire here on the property another one shows up and they look identical so maybe they're coming back I I don't know but I'll leave that up to you Mac to decide whether that's the same deer or not you know what I'm talking about <laughs> well there's that lawnmower running again they always run the lawnmower okay how to find a center or how I'm finding the center this is gonna be like a little minute one okay it is it's about three and five sixteenths and then you got this part here that goes in and out so really the way that I feel a little bit better to find in the center of this thing is going like this I got a height gauge but I'm not getting that out okay and that says three 0.6615 so if I have a pencil which I don't have which like usual I'm prepared all right I got three three point six six one five now you got a minus half of this so this is point six three four five point six three four five divided by two should subtract off this three six six one five so I gotta go do some math get a calculator because my brain don't work that good anymore so I'm gonna measure this again just to see if I come up with the same thing again because sometimes I don't Just got to be close. Three six 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 three six 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 five. Last time was three six six one five. I guess this shaft is a little. It looks pretty close to up tight. That's three six five nine five. Well, I'm not doing too good here, am I? You would think it'd be a little bit more consistent, but we're talking point. Four, four decimal points over. Weird, weird jet. That's three six four eight five three six. I'm gonna call it three six five zero oh, three six. This is six four nine well I'm coming up with all sorts of numbers but three six seems to be pretty good three six I'm gonna say five oh because that's even numbers we'll be back with a little bit and I'm also going to do it with a little bit of slop in the drill holes so I can those few hundreds of a thousandths of an inch shouldn't make any difference so I'll be back in a bit some other measurements that I need before I go down to the parts department this is six inches wide so I need something six inches wide this is the pump itself is four inches wide 
the height of the pump is oh four and three quarters high. So now I gotta go off to the parts department, see if I can come up with something. So we'll be back in a little bit, just kind of showing you what what my brain is think it's thinking. I got it wrote down on a list so I can lose the list. I guess you can't read it. There it is. So I got it written on a list, put it in my pocket. I'll probably forget how to find it. Bye. Hi guys. Well, I found a couple pieces of steel and I cut. This one here, because that pump was four inches wide, I can never tell what's in there. It never looks to be what it is, but I guess I can see that over there so you can see this. So I cut this as an angle. This is quarter inch. This is quarter inch. Looks like by two. I'm not sure. We'll guesstimate it at two. So it's going to go together something like that. I just thought it looked a little bit better. Kind of tapered in like that. I could cut these off, but I'm not going to worry about it because this is going to be able to come up and go down just a hair. I'll probably drill a hole in the center here and drill a hole in the center here. Then mill a little bit of a slot in there so I have have movement there in case I need it. I'm hoping that these drill two holes in here should hopefully go with these two holes here in something some fashion like that or it might have to even be back like that to put that piece in uh, proud of it. So it might have to go on this side um, or turn it around I know those are holes that I pre-drilled in there for just because i th thinking down the line. So anyhow, I got to wire brush these off, get the edges cleaned up, and start figuring out where all these holes are going to go. This has got to be a two-inch hole here, which goes in the other piece over there. and So that's what I'm working on. So no point in bringing you guys along for the wiring because that's pretty, pretty uh, boring stuff. So we'll be back in a little bit. Well, I'm not sure what you can see in that in that thing. I got a cross here where I want to cut a two-inch hole. So um, I guess I haven't. Oh, look at that! Everything's falling down. I'm gonna go ahead and try to drill this. Put a pilot in there. Of course, now all you see is my arm. Good enough. Now I gotta drill a, another perfect hole in the wrong spot like I did uh what was that just that was just I forget what I was drilling with that. Oh then that tank thing. Let's see if I can do better this time. Uh, I gotta shift this down to low speed. It's down to low speed. Gotta get my oil it can. I'll start start there. We'll see what we can do here. Uh, I have to remember how to turn it on. Really need a real dull bit underneath there. Really dull bit. It's like I'm going backwards. Oh, no wonder. Yeah, there's always something in there. Damn it. There's always something. I can't get. It's an Allen wrench that I don't have an Allen wrench for. Now I'm in low gear and I can't move it. Why does it always take so long to do anything anymore? All of them are screwdrivers, and this stupid one that I needed had to have a. And then I dropped it. Let's see what I can get. Oh, now I gotta put it back in here. Yeah, I'm gonna go real light on it. Once you got the pile, it doesn't matter.
piece of junk. Now what do you do? They call it in there. This is a not my most favorite. Still fairly tight. Maybe I can get through it at the end. Always something. Thing is junk. I, I don't know where that came from. Put it back in neutral. Uh, I don't know. I don't think that that's a. Most of them I used to get from Ace Hardware. That doesn't say Ace on it. It's probably something, some kind of junk that I bought, just to get through the job and got through this job. I think I'll get the vacuum cleaner out. <laughs> Four minutes to drill a hole. Of course, you guys are gonna get knocked all over the place. I can't work it. The camera legs are in the way. So I say it takes a lot of time. I'm not fast. I'm slowing down. And I know that. But it's getting frustrating. Let's go see if that came somewhere close. And of course I gotta wipe all the garbage off of it. I should do that in the trash can, but I'm not going to. I'll put you on this side because I'm working from this side. Oh, I even got rid of the pump. Well, crapola. I'll let you guys down a little bit. I got to go get the pump. I got to wipe this thing off. Oh yeah, I do. Put it down here. But you gotta take this off, which that ain't coming off. This won't go through there, I'm sure. So, probably destroy this pump getting that off again to make it worse. It's still turning. Alright, I'll be back. I gotta get this thing off of here. I'll be back. When you think something going good, it just takes forever well this is how I got this part of it done just moving along at a slower and snail's pace I drew uh, the line across here where it was parallel with that then looked in there it was right then used the punch to punch through this hole right where it was at a little bit loose but I think it'll be all right so now I got to drill those two holes so that's where I'm at this hole here I don't know whether you saw that or not. That turned out good. There's not much slop in it. The stupid. I, I sprayed it with primer because it was fast drying primer and you can scratch on primer real good. But the stuff is sticky. Nasty. We'll see you in a little bit. Well, guys, I don't know whether you'd be able to see this or not. Ain't nothing nice anymore. This, well, this, these holes... These two holes went in real nice. I guess that's nice. Um, because when I drilled this, the mill was still, well, it was aiming this way, the way I drilled it, it was still in line that way. So was, all I had to do is find the distance, but I popped them with that, that thing. But I wanted to put this in this way so I can utilize these holes here, which is very close. But I think I'll be able to do that. Um, I'm not sure, though, with the with a coupler on there this is the 
motor coupler. I, I don't know. There's, you can get them as close as you can, but then you run into in between them, which is that's probably an eighth of an inch, which might put me out of out of wacko. But what I what I got to do if I put it in this way, or I could put it in this way, and then I got to drill new holes, which I think is what I'm going to do is just put it in this way and and drill drill two new two new holes in this. I think that's going to be the easiest thing to do rather than fighting all the, the distance and all this kind of crapola. Because that's all the further that goes in. So if I get into there, uh, this is too high now. But see, it gets me out of, well, I'm still in range of those, still in range of those bolts. Real close. But then I got to mill this out. So I got six and one half dozen of either. Either mill this out because see this won't go in. This won't go in all the way. It's hitting down in here and here. And it's probably going to hit in the center. So I could mill that down real quick. Mill that down real quick and mill the center. And then have it. So I think I'll do that. It'll give me the options of doing it either way. It shouldn't take but two years to mill those two slots. The way I go. All right, we'll be back in a little bit. Well, guys, here's where I'm at. I got this. <laughs> We're talking a lot of time later. It's 6:30 now. I got this notched out to where it should go through. Well, what I wanted it to do is is go so this was just a hair, a hair above this. Because that can go down or this can go down. It gives me a little bit of movement in both directions. So that's what I wanted. And if I got to mill more, so now I got to drill. I'm going to drill three holes in the base. Maybe not because I got two holes over there and two holes in here. But I'm going to do that after dinner because I'm tired of messing with this beast. So that's where we're at. I don't get started early, but I kind of go late. It's getting dark. Not raining though, so I'm hanging in there. Bye bye. Well, guys, I'm wrapping up the wrapping up tonight. It's it's a little after 8:30, and I had dinner, and this thing's still turning. And I uh, got this all together. It, it it fits real nice. I'm happy with it. And what I did, which you guys can't really see, is I made this so it's got see that little eighth inch. So I can move it up and down an eighth of an inch, and if I got to move it the other way I can grind something and move it the other way or mill something out I, I milled slots you can't you can't see them there they're just too small to see but that's that's what it looks like I've run out of um, light too so I can't see that but we're still turning I don't know whether it's gonna work or not but uh, got a lot of tools to clean up that's what I'm gonna do so do me a favor Hit the like button, hit the subscribe, and appreciate it if you do that. And uh, we'll be talking at you later. Bye.